Ladies and gentlemen, um, I want you guys to check this article out. This is from RT. Um, and, and, you know, we and we were talking about this earlier. But, you know, I did a lot of research on this, and this isn't good. It's this new disease that's coming out called the zombie deer disease. Zombie deer brain disease. And it spread to 24 U.S. states and Canada and increasingly threatening humans. Um, before I read this article, I'm going to tell you, explain to you what it is. It's like a deer has artifacts automatically have red eyes like a zombie. And once you stare at that deer with the red eyes, easily you'll get affected. You And it really is no cure. You can die from this disease. Now, some people in the news are still talking about it. And now the hunters are scared to even hunt for deers because of this zombie deer disease. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. This is coming from RT. And it says, An incurable mad cow-like brain infection named nicknamed zombie deer disease that causes deer, elk, and moose to behave strangely and aggressively has spread through half the U.S. And some if some fear it may soon turn up in humans. Chronic wasting disease renders its victims uncoordinated, confused, and aggressive while also causing them to lose weight and eventually their lives giving rise to nicknamed zombie deer disease. Sick animals walk in repetitive patterns and lose all fear of humans, developing a, vac a vacant stare. Like mad cow disease, CWD attacks the brain and spinal cord and is believed to be caused by prions, infection protein that travel in bodily fluids and remain contagious for years after leaving the body of their host. Also, like mad cow disease, it is an in its early days, at least, some scientists have scuffled at the notion it can be transmitted to humans. Others see history repeating itself. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue reading this. Um, as you may know, ladies and gentlemen, this is from RT. And... And there's other news clippings confirming this, you know, this disease. And I'm going to continue reading this. It said, Minnesota is currently in the throes of the, its worst ever CWD outbreak. The, the disease is incurable, and its long latency period means symptoms can take as long as a year to show up. Wow. Meaning a hunter can shoot a healthy looking deer and then take it home for dinner without knowing he was consumed infected meat. While a Canadian study demonstrated last year that the macaques fed with CWD infected meat developed the disease leading Canadian authorities to issue a health advisory. The CDC merely recommends against eating infected deer and U.S. Wildlife Agency said eating the Vigilant vision is a personal choice, according to Twin City um, Pioneer Press. <laughs> if Stephen King could write an infectious disease novel, he were, he would write about prion like this. Osterholm said, reminding Minnesota lawmakers that public health experts and beef industry executives refused for a long time to believe mad cow could affect humans as well until researchers confirmed confirm the presence of its human variant. Let's see, I'm going to pronounce this. Crucifel Jacob disease in people who had, who had eaten infectious meat in 1996. CWD infection rates are sky high among some U.S. captive deer populations, reaching 79%, according to the CDC. Even in the wild, in some areas, more than one in four deer are infected with the disease. The report stresses CWD incidence is relatively low nationwide, but pockets of high incidence in the Midwest have researchers worry, including the University of Minnesota team who are looking to develop a rapid testing device to use on live and dead animals. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, 
uh, this new disease is coming out and it's effective deers. This is remind you of remember when the first ever West Nile virus came out in mosquitoes and people are concerned that when you get bit by a mosquito, then, you know, the West Nile, you have, you have diarrhea dealing with the West Nile. So now they have the disease affected, affected um, deers. And they said it's the, it's the red eye with the deer, and they said it, they need to be contagious that, you know, humans are afraid to to go near the deer because they fear that, you know, when you eat an infectious, um, it, contagious meat, that you'll be affected. But then they said that, you know, with, with, with this disease right here, the deer got a red eyes, and you can stare at a deer, and automatically you got you're infected. So, I I mean, you see a lot of people that like hunts for deers anyway. So people need to be need to be careful of you know shooting deers and need any now need to leave deers alone because you never know if they're affected with the disease or not. I'm just saying. Leave a comment. Tell what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Johnson channel for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.